Most of people don't know what artificial intelligence is, so they would love to be explained. So because our channel is basically about making people know what artificial intelligence is, what its benefit, how it can be helpful to them as an individual, and what the impactation can it happen if they embrace it. So how could you embrace that? It's all about automation or augmentation. For now, what AI things do or generative AI things do, it helps us a lot to augment our work, to assist our work. It uh, helps us to reduce our workload or manual workload it will be completely automated it will be into your robotic it will be into your surgeries it will be everywhere Welcome to AI NY Code. We are so privileged to welcome a doctor, a mentor, a teacher, a speaker in different categories. So he's a man who inspired many. He has embraced a lot of things. Has achieved. He has achievement in many things. So he's called Doctor Wakwa. So let us give him a chance to introduce himself and talks about what made him interested in AI, especially in the health sectors. Sir, so you are most welcome to AI in White Coat. We are so privileged to welcome you. It's nice having you here. So thanks a lot for inviting me and I'm very privileged to be here in uh, this Marwar University with the awesome crowd, awesome people. And uh, thank you for the invitation. And from my student life, I was always fascinated with the technologies. I was actually a geek who never wanted to be in health sciences. But uh, by fate, I went into health sciences. But again, the Almighty gave me a chance to come back to the technological aspect. And I got into innovations, AI and everything. And here I am. I'm just trying to contribute whatever I am. I am trying to deal with. So how could you define artificial intelligence? So our artificial intelligence, uh, like the, I, if you uh, remember in the, my presentation, I was clear enough, uh, like, uh, are you talking about artificial intelligence or generative artificial intelligence? Those two things are very much different. Uh, when we are talking about artificial intelligence, maybe after four years or five years, it's going into and complete automation mode for a lot of our manual tasks. So that is all uh, that about. So, you know, to the audience, most of the people don't know what artificial intelligence is, so they would love to be explained. So because our channel is basically about making people know what artificial intelligence is, what its benefit, how it can be helpful to them as an individual, and what the impactation can it happen if they embrace it. So how could you embrace that? See, uh, again, I, I'm quoting the things from the morning. It's all about automation or augmentation. For now, what AI things do or generative AI things do, it helps us a lot to augment our work, to assist our work. It uh, helps us to reduce our workload or manual workload. Then if you are talking about the real AI, which is going to come up, it is also known as Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. I forgot to mention there are two things. There is also things coming up like uh, AI agents that the agents uh, AI is talking with each other. So there are a lot of things are coming up. So for now, AI for us is generative AI in which we are just playing around with it. We are just trying to generate some audio, video, text, images, uh, something like that. But real AI will be something much more bigger. It will be completely automated. It will be into your robotic. It will be into your surgeries. It will be everywhere. So you've been talking about generative AI. We have seen, because you're saying it's just generative AI, we are just interacting with it, doing something. But if it has been able to do such an impact in a sector, so don't we expect to predict something that is, I don't know how to describe it, but are we going to, what, what are we predicting for future AI development? Because if just, just generative AI is just causing an impact and bringing threat to people. So what can you say about the upcoming like machine learning, deep deep learning for it, such kind of things? How is it going to affect people if just generative AI is causing an impact like that and a heavy fear in people? You know, when the, the new uh, mobile phone came, so that time what happened, you know, people were in a state of shock how you can talk to a person without the wire. Hmm. When it started ringing with the songs and ringtone, oh my god, it have music also. So humans are always fascinated by new things. When they saw like they can click pictures on phone, they go, oh my god, there is no need to buy a camera, you can click on this also. 
right oh my god you don't need reels now even uh, for the camera we have always fascinated by new things so it is not new what we are getting fascinated it's our human tendency and nature so whenever any new app or instagram will come up you oh my god you can like you can talk with other friends so every technology whatever things are coming we get fascinated so it's a our psychology i feel uh, about fascination of ai after sometimes it will be normal ai in white coat is hosting the physiotherapist today and they're going to be interacting to us they're going to be telling us how ai is being a beneficial in physiotherapy and how are the positive side of ai in physiotherapy and the negative side so each one is having just one minute to talk to tell us how physiotherapy is being positive with ai and how is it negative in ai so i'm starting with you sir how are you fine so how is your thought being a, a, a positive and negative in ai negative means ai is totally like right now i am not finding any difficulties uh, negative ones of ai and positive positive it's help to multiple aspects like research like uh, if we don't know anything then it will be helpful uh, that we know the commercialization purpose business purpose also okay sir and you for me it's like the positive side is yes we can do many advancement in physiotherapy but the negative side for us is like if they take up on us then we will be like ah what are we going to do then and the third problem is funding like it's too, if we have very less robotics uh, like uh, advanced uh, machines for that what are we going like it's too how do i put it it's too expensive to use those things i think ai has helped us find many answers so that is the positive side and the negative side is we don't use our brains we don't even remember anything we just chat gpt and use ai for each and everything so there is no progress of us same for me that we don't read books we just depend upon your our mobile phones and same chat gpt genuine answers are we don't read book for time nahi hai so what i found is it they have so whatever they say is positive right negative it is that you're too dependent on it you become lazy at some point like you don't even use your brains and there is no growth in you you're not growing through it if you are just dependent on it it's like a one way one side of thing okay so like a uh, positive points for the point of like in the view of physiotherapy uh we can be free like <laughs> we can uh, in no space like just the machine has to do it all and uh like mainly it is and the negative point is uh, it can malfunction so what are the major challenges are we expecting ai to cause the major challenges is the most important challenge is we don't know where it is going to act yes that's the biggest challenge we 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 really don't know and uh, everyone is trying to take out the best thing uh, whatever things it can be useful for us from here so for me if it if it is assisting in me in my work ai is good for people are going to use for other purposes it's good for them if people will also might misuse it for different scams or something it's a different story so new series like data privacy has caused many people like for me myself i could not like i i i love embracing myself more with ai than i could interact so new series like data privacy algorithm biases and who is responsible for such cases in case they happen guys and the thing is you belong to uh, you and we belong to india i'll tell you one thing when it comes to data privacy we are the most vulnerable i'll tell you how everyone gets messages and text and call from different banks scams or click on this you can earn this from where the data is going up you know the number of population we have everyone i don't think anyone is having a sort of like never gotten call and email or a text like click and you can earn yes we are the most vulnerable when it comes to data privacy so for us like ai is the thing what else you will take everything get leak leak here even your aadhar card number your passport number your credit card everything gets leak here although yes ai the data privacy is uh, a very big challenge 
but let's see the things are going to come up the blockchain is going to come up and make going to make it much more secure in the future so in this play get that so who is responsible in case an automation car has caused an accident like such a scenario for example uh, there's an algorithm bias that has happened on a such a, an app who, who can be responsible and what safeguard should government put or as we people to put in order to See, if, if that you are putting any model or any AI tool to use, make sure the accuracy is hundred percent. There is always chances of error, even though you are having a traffic signal. So it does not uh, like, like the, the uh, accident does not happen there. It happens. The roads are now very good, so the bike does not sleep. So who is who is responsible now? Us. That's it. It's so yes we are responsible but no one take responsibility man especially in india nobody is going to take no one is going to be responsible we our responsibility of anything so we can put responsibility on anything so ai is independent it's just in space no one controls it. it is dangerous so what what government should what criteria should government put in order for, to safeguard people from the dangers of ai you cannot stop the things we can be honest with you no we cannot stop the dangers of ai there are always the ways. You are always going to buy far. You will. You are going to use VPNs. You are going to use different ways to access those things. So you can see the dark web. It's a lot of things. So, we are. I, I've been researching about your achievement, and I came across your book. So you tell people about your book. About your book how it took. my book is uh, like i'm known actually i'm much known ab from my book to which finally a students read that is physiotherapy in community health that been into gujarat from last 10 years it uh, from jp publication so i'm known actually from my books more than my uh, the things i do from last five years i have four books and i love writing I love traveling and I love exploring and I love sharing knowledge. Either it is in the form of text, can be book. Either it is in the form of workshop, it's the audio or taking an interview, it's a video. So this is my generative way. I am so happy. So another thing, what advice can you give to our audience and the young people there? How to use AI and how to embrace AI in order to benefit from it effectively? You should start contributing uh, to these things. You should learn how to refine the models. You should know what things they can contribute. And rather to be a user, it's better they become contributor because it has a potential. If you will be contributor, you will be innovators. You will need after four years and five years. But if you will be just users, then you will be just losers. There are a lot of opportunities for you. You can do a lot of things. Things uh, with that new. Yeah. You can, you won't be able to find out new things after one year. You have, you won't be able to find the things after new year. You have this is the most important thing which you have now. You are having chances. You are having big gap. You are having chances to make chatbots. If you make it now, you are innovate. You are going to sell your product. But if you are waiting for other people to to, that's that's. How. Like when did you start combining physiotherapy and AI? Like when did you, when was the starting point? Say, yeah, physiotherapy and technology. Technology. When I was in third year, my professor used to call me yeah, from OPD Bakar and I used to run. I said, what happened? And they used to say, uh, the printer is not working, repair it. Help me typing this. Help me formatting this. So my connection with technology is, you know, it's my love from my college time. Eh? So technology advanced, so I advanced with the time. That's a different story. Like AI is new. Maybe something new thing is going to come up like AGI or AI even what I call you after 10 years. So I'm going to jumping into the action. It's all about the opportunities and the timing in technology. If you are at the right place at the right time, you are going to outshine. But if you are waiting like other people to outshine, I'll just put up one example. What is Instagram? It's just a photo sharing app. Yes. It was not actually a very noble or innovative idea. But they made before 15, 20 years they won. Mm. So it's all about your idea, your innovation at the right time. At the right time. If you are at the right time, right place, at, at a perfect time, you are going to go. But if you miss the bus, then worry, worry. Huh. You, just, you just have to embrace it wisely. Not embrace, I use the word adapt. Adapt. Embrace is something you are taking superficially. Adapt means, no, I'll be the best with this. 
Adapt no, it's adapt. So how you make it yours comes ahead one that is advanced when you. That is what I feel. Okay, thank you, sir. So as you're concluding, tell people how they can research in the best way they can research and benefit and add an impact the same way you have achieved in such sectors. See, we are having a lot of problems in our life, personal life, professional life, everything we can get out problems very easily. Search for the problem, seek for the solutions. That solutions is your question and the way to process that question is your research. When you document it, it becomes your publication and here the, how you get your publications. Okay, sir. So, so do you have a vision or a message how AI can be of a good to the audience? It depends on, it's a subjective, it depends on person to person how they're using it. For me, it's, I am having a different use. I even want to see whatever things I want. So it on the, it's a subjective thing. We cannot like generalize that thing. It's like a phone. You have a different use of phone. I have a different use of phone. So give the last words to the audience as we are concluding. Enjoy the AI, learn from it. A lot of things to take. Well, Arthur, thank you for that conversation. It's been a blessing having you, sir. I am so privileged. Same. So, AI in White Coast, we are so honored to have a, such a wonderful person. See you. Like, subscribe, share to AI in White Coast. So, let's all say AI in White Coast. AI. AI. AI in, in White Coast. Okay, yeah, in white coat. AI in white coats. Yeah. <laughs> also press the bell icon. Yeah. Also click on notification bell to get more updates when we post. See you. Thank you. Thank you.